Hello guys, I just stumbled upon this hugging face repo from this person where this person has pre-trained a Mistral model in just a few lines of code in one day on a sample data set and he used only one NVIDIA H100 GPU cord in his system plus it cost him just around 60 US dollar. So I thought maybe I'll share the code with you and we will go through the code step by step just to understand it and just to learn it on a high level. I will also drop the link to this hugging face page to give the due credit to the creator. So thank you to this person. Let me also show you his profile in the another page. So this is a person who has done it. Um, his name is hi. So thanks a lot for this really good stuff there. Okay. Now let's go to my VS code as it is easier to read the code there in full and then we will go through the code line by line. So this is a code as you can see from your screen. The first thing we are importing some of the stuff here. Now before that pre-training a model primarily involves training it on a large general data set to learn basic language patterns and structures before it is fine-tuned on a smaller task specific data set and this person has used SFT trainer or supervised fine tuning trainer which refers to a specific training approach or tool designed to efficiently conduct supervised fine tuning of language model focusing on improving their performance for specific tasks or data set. You can even argue that whether it's a pre-training or fine tuning but I will leave that discussion for later. Let's break down this code snippet. First and foremost, as you can see from here in these few lines, we are importing some of the required libraries such as Torch, which is a PyTorch deep learning library. Then we are importing Transformer and its modules. Transformer is a library by Hugging Face that provides thousands of pre-trained models for NLP or natural language processing. Then we are importing Dataset, which is a library for easily loading and pre-processing dataset. And then we are using TRL which is a library for SFT trainer focusing on language model. Then we are giving here the configuration for Mistral with uh, specific parameters such as vocabulary size, hidden layer size, the number of hidden layers, attention head and other architecture specifics. And this is as per Mistral's model's architecture. Then we are initializing the uh, Mistral model or with the configuration which we just specified and that primarily is instantiating a Mistral model for ca causal language modeling with the given configuration. Then we are loading the tokenizer with our auto tokenizer. Tokenizer converts text into a format that the model can understand. For example, convert converting sentences to token IDs. Then we are specifying this tokenizer's pad token that ensures that the padding token is the same as end of sequence or EOS token which is important for certain language modeling tasks. Then we are loading and preparing the data set here. And these lines are loading the data set from Hugging Face dataset library, shuffles it with the seed for reproducibility and prints out the number of prompts and column names. This step is really critical for understanding the data structure and ensuring the model is trained on diverse set of examples. Then we are uh, defining a function prompt here here you can see the create uh, prompt format that takes a sample from the data set and formats it according to the model's need in this case by iterating over the text field and formatting the prompts then we are setting up our sft trainer which is quite important in this case this whole chunk of code is initializing the sft trainer with the model data set tokenizer and training arguments the formatting function is quite interesting where we are specifying our above formatting function which we defined and that is to uh, that is specified to format the data set samples correctly training arguments include batch size gradient accumulation steps warm up steps and other hyper parameters crucial for training efficiency and effectiveness now then we are starting the training to begin the training process with the specified model, data set and training configuration. And then here we are saving our point you know, trained model. Um, and then we can use it later on in our, 
instead of re retraining it from the scratch so primarily this whole code is setting up and training a mistral model using a specified data set with a focus on supervised fine tuning so i should say that this is more of a fine tuning or pre-training you know instead of pre-training a model okay now to top this off let me quickly give you um, the one liner of all of these hyperparameters of or primarily the you know all of these sorry just to give you more idea because this is a bit of an interesting part too okay now let's start with this per device train batch size this primarily is the number of samples to process in a single batch per device during training then we have this gradient accumulation steps the number of steps to accumulate gradients before performing a backward update pass and then we have this warm-up steps which is the number of steps used for a linear warm-up from zero to the learning rate and then max step is simply total number of training steps to execute learning rate this is the initial learning rate for the optimizer of the whole process which is this value and then frequency of uh, logging training information then this is output directory where we will be putting the model checkpoints which includes all the parameters and settings of the model and then we are specifying this opt uh, you know optim here which means that primarily this is optimizer to use for the training in this case a 32-bit version of adam w optimized for paging to reduce the memory usage so this is it guys you can see that fine tuning a model on a data set is can be done with this code with all these steps which are i guess around 59 lines of code that's it and if i remove some of the uh, comments here it will be under you know around 50 lines of code so pretty cool i should say so really good stuff from this researcher i think i will be using it uh but once i get my hands on some sort of h100 gpu which i don't have at the moment and that could get pretty expensive depends upon your data site and the time it takes but the good thing is that you can see that as the time is passing these things are becoming cheaper and taking less time to accomplish let me know your thoughts on it or if you know a better way of doing it very you know keen to hear your thoughts on it and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please do me a personal favor and uh, share it among your network on social media maybe you know on your whatsapp groups instagram twitter facebook as um, all of this stuff is just uh, labor of love at the moment so it's really your help is everything in in order to carry this on on uh, this ai learning journey i hope that this was useful thanks for watching